What's up, YouTube? Good morning to you all. Super Size Leroy Green here again, and I am telling you, I am rather enjoying uh, my little conversations with you. It's about 9:45 in the morning. Um, I was editing the music video I'm going to put up on this channel in a couple, probably tomorrow. I'm going to bust my butt for the rest of the day. I'm probably uh, my goal is to edit this music video for the rest of today and most of tomorrow, and get it up tomorrow. And I might not even go to the gym today just to try and get it done. But, you know, that's okay because I'm, I'm back on my diet, you know, waking up. I'm actually about to throw some food up on the Foreman Grill. And I am about to mix up my green tea and just do my thing all day. This music video is turning out way better than I thought, guys. I'm so excited for you guys to see it. It's the first project I've done in a while uh, that I feel, I mean, music video I've done probably in my life that I feel I'm performing close to my uh, capacity right now with the tools I'm given and 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 things of that nature it's really turning out well and I think you guys will enjoy it so I really hope you guys tune in for that now it's been a great morning reason being is I spent most of last night while I was rendering stuff for the music video looking for a treadmill for uh, a contest I'm gonna enter I'm gonna enter the uh, it's the uh, Ubisoft Assassin's Creed 2 film contest. I'm going to enter that. I'm going to do a short film. I'm probably going to act in it as an assassin. It's going to be really, really cool. But I was like, ah, I should get a treadmill, paint it green, because I'm going to shoot the entire thing green screen. And I'm going to create a world, which I really don't get to do that. 3D world, um, you know, where I get to like walk through maybe ancient Italy, or I might just create a normal building and just put me and my buddies in there and have us fight, do a quick fight scene, which I haven't got to do an action scene. I did a chase in a movie uh, not too long ago, but I didn't get to beat anybody up since I did little films when I was like 15, 16, 17, so I'm super excited about that. But what really made my day great and makes me a little bit perky right now is, I don't know if you guys noticed, but Gina Carano and Serena Williams did naked pictures for ESPN the magazine and I, I'm a little dumbfounded right now because I thought they would have saved it for like Playboy they didn't bear it all but it was close enough and and like uh, all right I love it part of me is ashamed because I have all sisters and a mom that I'm like loving it but but part of me namely namely the lower half is really enjoying the fact that they did that because I think both of them are beautiful athletic women and you know you get curious i get curious like when i see gina coming to the ring i'm like wow i wonder never mind you know what i was wondering and yeah of course everybody's wondering that about serena with the stuff she wears out on out on the court you know maybe a little less considering you know she might shove a tennis ball down your throat but um truth of the matter is i'm really excited that they did that i think you should check out some pictures i might even put some links on that side and uh, <laughs> I hope you guys check it out uh, back to uh, trying to find a treadmill you guys know what I'm gonna do with that I'm gonna go ahead and make it seem like we're walking cuz you know right now I'm not walking but it looks and it looks kinda stupid but if I was actually on a treadmill I could add some swagger to it you know and look cool you know so um, I'm gonna let you know the Ubisoft deadline is November 1st so I really gotta get cracking um, in the process of trying to work out an amazing collaboration. Also, we're going to use that treadmill for the upcoming web series, plugging it again, that we're going to be launching on this channel. It's going to be a big deal. We really put a lot into it. Cannot wait to put the first episode of the making of this web series up so that you guys can see all of the effort we've gone through to provide you with a little bit of quality entertainment. Not that you can't find it anywhere else, but I want you to be able to find it right here. So here's my question of the day. Serena Williams, Gina Carano, posing nude. Now, plus side is that they did it and that, you know, curiosity is solved. We know, great, sweet, they're beautiful. The next thing is um, I have four sisters and a mom. Now, I might one day go on and have a daughter. Now, these are two women that I would say my, my, my daughters could look up to. And, and honestly, that doesn't change. I honestly think they, you know, I'd be a little scared of my daughter following that part of their careers. But do you feel it, that they should make that move or should they stay a little bit more, I don't know, for lack of a better word, dignified about their careers and just keeping it on or keeping a lot more on and just being sexy with their clothes on? 
Let me know how you feel. Uh, women, if you end up watching this, let me know how you feel because it's an important question. Like, how, who are we to, uh, to get upset at Miley Cyrus and Vanessa Hudgens when, because if you think about it, five, six years ago, they were little kids. And we were having celebrities such as Britney Spears and, and, and Beyonce and everybody just next to naked. And these are their role models. So are we setting an example and, 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 and encouraging our powerful women in the media to do things that are going to teach 10 year old girls now that it's okay for them to take all their clothes off and put pictures of when they're 15, 16 years old. Granted, Serena and what we call it, uh, Gina Carano are not 16 years old when they're doing it. They're grown women, but, uh, you know how every generation tends to learn something and do something a little bit quicker. You know, it's always, things are evolving. People are getting a little bit faster at things. I really like to know how you feel about it. I'm kind of on, if I had to pick right now and say which side I feel, I think, I think the church boy in me would say, I, f I wish they had just done it with form fitting really nice dresses, maybe something low cut, maybe something backless, uh, and just got a better photographer that, that could make them look as, as sexy as possible. Maybe even teasing us by having shorter skirts, but like, keep it on because we're having an epidemic of women that are just changing things. And I don't even know if that's wrong that they are. Is it wrong? Is it wrong for a woman to want to take off her clothes? Because I mean, men do shirtless stuff all the time, you know, uh, and it's considered art. Absolutely, positively art. I mean, you got Statue of David, which is considered one of the greatest pieces of art. And it's, sorry about that. And it's a naked guy. You know? So uh, let me know what you think. Uh, good morning to you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm loving all of the responses I'm getting from. This morning, I actually got a great response to my Miracles video. And uh, I sent him a reply. I really can't wait to hear what he has to say. Otherwise, you guys take it easy. I am going to eat myself some meat at 9 40 in the morning because i gotta get my, get my protein on and then i am going to edit my video and hopefully get that up to you guys by tomorrow so tune in please let me know if you're waiting for the, if you're looking forward to that music video there's samples of it already up so you guys take care peace